Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so I thought I'd make a little bit of a video about this craft right sharpening stone. I got this at Bunnings Warehouse for four dollars fifty. Uh, for you guys overseas, if you're in America, Bunnings is kind of like um, oh, what do you call it? Harbour Freight, like a large um, uh, hardware store. Uh, yeah, so I've got a Whitby pocket knife here I'm going to try and sharpen. I'll just show you. She's pretty blunt. My dad's had this. And he's pretty hard on knives to the point that we're going to make a video about how much abuse he puts onto knives when he tests them for me. Alright. So this has got, um, uh, one side of it's 150 grit, and then the fine size 240. So it's not, like this isn't something you'd use to sharpen, like your sushi knives or whatever, it's just something that's affordable for work knives. Right, so I'm just going to splash a bit of water on. I've had it soaking uh, for about 15 minutes or so. I'm not going to show you the whole process because it might take a while because this knife is horrendously had it. I pretty much have to reprofile the blade really. So I'm just going to show you bits and pieces. Alright so with a water stone like this I uh, just want to make sure you keep it quite wet. So it gets a good like paste on it. Alright, so I've been going for about five to ten minutes now. Uh, so I'm gonna turn it over to the finer side. So it's the two forty grip. So I've been going on the finer side for a while, so I'm going to give it a bit of a deal. Right, so we'll see if we've done any better. Right, so that's a lot more serviceable edge now. Not super, super sharp, but it's good for working. Alright, so that was a five dollar stone, so I'm going to do some more testing on it, and you'll probably see more from this in the future, so uh, yeah, let me know if you like this type of video. Alright, see you next time.